Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Plays Transport Fever and as you are following this beautiful class 1042 I've basically done a... well I did a mess up and this mess up I have done in the previous episode probably some of the more sharp-eyed amongst you have noticed and um, the... well two mistakes to be honest one mistake being the um, Meltham cargo station not being cargo station at all but being a passenger station rather and the second one was me forgetting to put the bridge back over at the Cockermouth so with that thing out of the way we will need to correct these two mistakes before we continue onwards and onwards being uh, I have two things that I've been contemplating with one is actually... Oh, look at that airplane over there. Right? It's beautiful. Um, two things. One is wood. And another is uh, expanding the cargo network towards... And here you can see one of my mess-ups. Yeah, I need to fix that. Otherwise, it, somebody might get an idea that this is a ramp, you know, to be jumped. Uh, which is not, clearly. But okay, that's something that we'll work on eventually. I just want to this uh, train to get out of its... Uh, out of its uh, tunnel, so that I can continue on the merry way. Now, it has some cargo, but uh, that will, I'm assuming, be very quickly negated the moment I start doing my fixes. However, this fix shouldn't affect anybody and should be quite simple and straightforward. Medium street. Just bump it all the way here and we're done. That's fix number one. Good. And I could be taking that street as well somewhere here. For maximum effect uh, with uh, some minor smoothage here. I don't want people to see that there was like a big 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 mess up on my part here because that's never nice. Here connecting the road down there yeah see awesome. Um, completely unnecessary but see very nice. Okay now second mess up being that this is actually supposed to be a cargo station but it is actually a passenger station yay as you can see so I need to fix it one two three four I need I've already tried and see and I pleaded for mercy on multiple occasions but the game just didn't want to cooperate now Cargo station, where are we? Cargo station this time, yes. And I want a 5 tracker and I want a high speed 320 meters with a second straight connection. Now, you should be going in the same place, roughly. See? There you go. The, there's only one smaller problem with the, this setup, and that's the alignment. Take this. Yes. Yes, and the two of you, well, I need to fix two of you. Those are the future sections that might be going to Blythe, which I'm not entirely sure how I'll be able to pull them off, but... That's the problem for later Groundworks, not for this episode. No, 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 no. This episode is all about... <laughs> this is interesting. Look at this. Whee! We need to delete this, yeah. So, you know, in one episode we build, in another episode we destroy. Same thing, obviously. But... You know, I know that some of you might say that you are allowed to drop cargo on a passenger station. Guys, that's a complete no-no in my book. 
Sorry. That's something that I cannot tolerate. Uh, let's see. Here we would need a diamond crossing because those are fun. It's the latest rage. Everybody is, wants a diamond crossing. Yes. Right. Good. And then we have a tiny thing here. You are a double slip. Yes, you are. However, I'd prefer to have another track section where I could be plumping you here. So how about from here on there? Yes, and you being another double slip switch, yes. Uh, the whole reason for this is that the trains come this route and then they go back the other. So, you see, this is something that I would prefer not to use. So, let's put in another signal here. One signal being here, and then just before you go to Meltham Annex, I want you to take this signal instead. So yeah, so now you're taking the correct path, and you're coming in here, you are coming to this siding. I want to just reinforce that by adding a waypoint. We had waypoints, I want to add them back. And before you go, after you go from the, after Meltham signal, you take this waypoint just to cement you on your way. And you're not going to Briarly Exchange, you are going to Meltham Annex, yes. So I'm thinking that now we can press play with a sufficient amount of satisfaction and then just finish off this measly part of the road that was giving me some headache. And we'll continue to do so, yes. Now, I delete this, I smooth out this, I smooth out these, and then plead for mercy to the gods of the road construction. Now, come on, a little bit more, maybe higher up, higher up, yes, see, that's doable, great, I'll take it, then I'll take a small curvy road here, yes, and then I'll connect here back, construction not possible, oh, Construction very much it is possible, look. It's even easy. The fact that it looks but ugly is a whole different matter, which we won't be tackling at this very moment. So, can you go a little bit down? Yeah, at least keep on level, sure. And then, you will take another section, which will be going here. See? Done. Good. That would hopefully fix the this train's path let's close off the line and let's just enjoy as it passes through and it's going quite fast but we are going getting into the station now so I do expect it to go much slower under the bridge yes thank you Yes, we build beautiful bridges because that's what we do. Okay, clearly, as you can see, we are now into Meltham. And we're going back, and uh, the uh, traffic here is equally as busy. So what I'm hoping will now happen is that these will be replacing the Meltham food bulk. You're going to Meltham Halt despite being empty. That means, Sunshine, you are getting reassigned very quickly. 
and you're going to Winchcombe food bulk and you'll be going to Brearley East. Yes, I have no need for empty ships, sorry. You are going to Winchcombe sidings, uh, that's great. Right, so with that one fixed, let's see what else can we break, right? So uh, we have some wood production here and we have a sawmill here at Blythe and some wood production here. So these three together with a sawmill over there wouldn't be the world's worst idea to connect. But I think we have a bigger fish to fry, to be honest. Now, uh, speaking of which, where is my oil? Walton Thames Oil Vehicles. You are going to Walton Thames Holt. You are going to the Chipping Sodbury branch. Okay, and you are going to Walton Thames Holt with a full load. So you'll be bringing me unholy amounts of cash. Well, I won't say no to that. And that means if we have here a full load of 300, almost, that we could be building another train. So I'm gonna go and this one is 140 with 16. What is this one? 1986. Yeah, we'll take you for the time being. So same looks, different thing. I'll take the 320 length as always. 315, that's good enough. You're going to melt or Brearley Walton Thames Oil. Great. Off you trot. Chipping Sodbury. We have some passengers waiting to ride the Oakham to Walton Thames. And we have another train going here. That's great. So those are well taken care of. Okay, which one are the ma waiting the most? Brearley Walton Thames Cargo. Good. Okay, I'm just curious. Can I Brearley Annex? No, I want to see this one. Upgrade to number of terminals. So if I just want to create planes rather. Yeah. If I want to create by aircraft, I can build a comet. Ooh, fancy. Comet should be the one to connect something more extraordinary or, you know, Blythe, Wincanton we have. Meltham we already have. Winchcombe. Brearley Eaton. So if we could, I could put Eaton, so I could connect Wincanton to Eaton somehow. If I could create an airport here, that would be uh, just amazing. But and I can apparently create the medium air aircraft already, and I'm uh, hope expecting that that would be for. How much bigger would that one be to create? Hold on. If I would want to replace this narrow angle, I don't think that I would be able to align terrain, not by any chance here. Maybe in the future somewhere, but I need a bigger... Hmm. Blythe, Ghoul, these cities are terribly connected. I'm trying to find something that I could easily connect. Winchcombe, could you maybe be the first to have the world's best airport, huh? Let's see. Residential, you have a big spot over there, so 
maybe. Something like this, somewhere. Come on. Unable to align terrain. Come on, you need an unholy amount of place to put. Anywhere. No freaking way. Winchcomb to Win Canton. That could be actually a maybe small airport. How about if I place you something along these lines? Yeah, here, and then I would need to take a bus to Winchcomb, so it's catchment area would be terrible, but worthy, maybe. Hold on. Could I put a big airport there, though? Definitely not. How about if I place it this side? No. I don't see the big airports being used here, actually, guys. Sorry. Now, um, there's another sawmill, so that one, that one. That could be another route, maybe. Possibly. Um, Blythe to Ghoul. Do I want to get involved there? To have some... Ghoul is being supplied, although pretty poorly. Well, good with the food, I guess. But it's not connected with any, any anything else, literally. Could Ghoul have an airport, actually? Small one, even. Easily. Hoo-hoo. I sense a missed opportunity here. Unable to align terrain. Hmm. How about if I place it somewhere here? Right smack in the middle. You are colliding with that one and terrain. But yeah, ultimately if I could get an airport anywhere here, that would be a big boon to the commuters and to the economy. And I think I saw that it would be possible somewhere here. And why are you saying unable to align terrain? What are you, what's your problem? Yeah, which part of the terrain are you colliding there? Let's see, maybe I don't see it. Hmm, it would fit perfectly here. What if I just rotate it? Here. Unable to align terrain. And on this side. I think I even had it for a second there. No terrain alignment collage. It's a damn shame, I'll tell you that much. Because, I mean, it's high on the plateau, so... Oh! Wow! 
That means that if I rotate you somehow here, you would be able to. Come on, you had it there. Yeah, see, like this works. So why doesn't it work like this then? Come on. Come on, why doesn't it work? The problem with that I have is that if I come on, it has to be possible now. I so much like the idea of it being here. There. Oh yeah. Now pause. Let's connect this. Yes. What's your catchment area now? Well, just a couple of houses, but it doesn't matter when I be plopping the bus station. Extraordinaire. And the bus tram stop. Bus tram station, how many? Well, Ghoul is such a small town, so it's not really worthwhile to have it too big. So, something like that. Can I even plop it on this side? Or on this side even better? No, on this side I cannot. Yeah, then I put it like here. That's one. And then I want to be connecting the people now. Bus routes. I don't have the bus route yet. Good. Stops. you sunshine then you will be taking people off to their work yes off to their work after what we will build a little bit of road here that will be connecting with this road here and I'll let you figure out the rest I let the AI figure that it could basically build here. And I'll add another stop. Something like the Good Hope station. Right, uh, that's it. Where is my road depot? There is none, which means I need to create one. Road depot. Right, then let's create now the route to start with. First the commuter route. You start here at the airport, followed by the North Road, followed by the St. John's Road, followed by the George Street, followed by the green. And since it's the green, we'll put it in green, yes. And that one will be called Goo. Goo commuter air so I let go airport commuter yeah right and uh, how many vehicles I'm thinking like one two three four five stopper let's take three vehicles one two three 
and then we put it to go airport commuter yes and I do want to upgrade the the roads that they have bus lane and the bus lane going here 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 ish here ish here ish basically anywhere where my buses are going right so that should solve this issue now since ghoul you are cut away from the rest of the world i'd connect you with the wind canton and Barely, hopefully. So, line manager starting at Ghoul, going to Win Canton. So, we'll call this one Goo Win Air. Guinair, yes. So it almost sounds like Ryanair. Guinair, and then I need a vehicle. I have no idea if I can buy. Comet. Hmm. Well, why the hell not? Can we try it and see if this one will go, actually? I don't have no idea if this one will go there, but go in air. Let's see if it will work. Not the best runway for the modern jet aircraft, but uh, yeah. I hope you have s some special skills there, Chief, in terms of taking off. It's a first jetliner, so yeah. It should be fast. At least. Might as well close off my land usage reports. We don't have any passengers as of yet. Um, let me just... Uh, yeah. It looks like a beauty though. And it's a shorter runway. I'm really interested to see if it will be able to take off. I mean, playing with this uh, kind of limits me to playing smaller aircraft, but this map is such gorgeous that it's actually worth it. So let's see if I can, uh, if the comet can take off and land from this runway. Otherwise, I'm in deep boo boo. It's not objecting so far. So, three, two, one, kick it. And, oh yeah, with plenty of room to spare. Nice, and it flies off the map, goodbye. Yes. Right, off it sails into the sunset. Oh, where's my craft? Come on, follow, follow, follow. I want to follow you. I never gave you the permission to leave. And it's flying over desolate land and nothing really interesting going either way, but still, I'm hoping that a few fortunate souls will be able to have a chance to fly this one. 
it's a modern jet at least and currently we are flying over Blythe Blythe being one of the most messed up uh, areas to get to uh, I've tried uh, to record an episode of actually going for the Blythe wood production but I don't know how I will be pulling that one off however as you can see we are slowly descending into the Wincanton which would be a nice way to get there I guess Yeah, slowly cruising, slowly cruising. We are going uh, dangerously close to the mountain, but then again, I doubt that we will be coming closer than which we, what we did in the previous episodes, with, which were we were strafing with DC-4. We can see our shadow. It's coming closer. Actually, we might be strafing. Oh boy. Anybody need to go to the toilet? There's your chance. Right. And let's take hero shot of the landing. There we go. Beautiful. Now, with that one out of the way, so actually it's a feasible commute. Uh, where are my buses now? I'll take the one going from airport, thank you. It's definitely not taking the route which I suggested, but I guess it's fine. Until they spread out evenly, I think it's normally the case, so... Picking up passengers and happily trotting along, yes. Oh, this would be nice screenshot material. Yeah, yeah, don't cross the pedestrians. They are important. Okay, there we connected this with air. So we have another passenger. So do we have any more passengers? Winch camp to Brearley Air. Okay, yeah, Brearley. This one. Siloth Winchcomb. You are the most isolated of all towns. Sightings, how are you supplied with food? You're not supplied with food at all. Wind food walk. Yeah, I mean, this route is crap. Yeah, and it has here a farm, but it doesn't have the processing facility, which is over there. <clears throat> so we could be doing some food here rather than distributing it all the way from Brearley. That could be a definitive alternative. Farm delivering food to Meltham, which would then be taking the materials here for the processing taking it back and then back i guess maybe that would be something to explore for a future episode for sure and you are the dc4 okay yeah yeah you have the most modern aircraft but you have to rely on them because you don't have anything else for that matter 
So yes. Hmm. How are you doing there? How's the production? There are lots of things waiting, but line usage you are maxing out, which is good. Food, most food is going to Cockermouth. Okay, good. Oh, come to Brearley. Food line. Yeah, that one as well. Good. So now here at the docks, nothing waiting. And it's nothing waiting because uh, you are on Meltham food bulk. You see, this is the thing. I'm thinking of reassigning all the ships that are on Meltham food bulk. You would go to Winchcombe food bulk. And you are going to Brearley East, yes. You, uh, you go on to Meltham Holt. You are on Winchcombe food bulk. You are going to Brearley East. I don't think that this would uh, suffice. I think it's too long of a commute, to be honest. So I'll uh, need to either be setting up a different regional center or doing something else. While here we have a supply of Chipping Sodbury fuel bulk to Brearley. Chipping Sodbury to Brearley. Hold on, I have two lines here. Interesting enough. You are empty. You are being loaded. So you trot along. I'm actually thinking that you should be going to Meltham and provide fuel. So how about that? So let's do it like this. New line from Chipping Sodbury Exchange going to this is Cockermouth. Oh, we could take Cockermouth as well. And that one would be... Red. Red we have already. Yellow. Yes. And that one would be called... CHS. Cock fuel. Good. CHS cock fuel. CHS cock fuel. Uh, by definition, fill at shipping so Sodbury Exchange. Maximum waiting time 10 minutes. So you, the just left, you are being reassigned to the CHS and you're going to Chipping Sodbury Exchange, yes. Right. Hmm. 
Do we have any deliveries coming? Walton Thames Oil. You reverse. Now, uh, I think I'll need to institute shorter wait than five minutes. I'll say three minutes. Because as you can see, I'm lining up trains all the way and that's never good for business. So, so hold on. Are you here waiting for a full load? Walton Thames Halt. No, you should here pick up whatever is available, yes. I think that's better than they wouldn't be stopping up the production. So let's see how much will you net me. Oh, that's Susan, so I guess it's a couple of million. Hold on, I want to see the cash-ins. Cha-ching, 21 million! Woo! That's definitely nice. Do you have anything to pick up? A little bit. So you are going to Chipping Sudbury branch. What if... Is my second peron being used? No, it's not. That means that you could be servicing one other town. So let's just quickly... Walton Thames, Chipping Sodbury... Ah, yes. I cannot service other towns without this section getting an overhaul. Oh boy. Because this one is used for cargo and for passenger routes. Oh, right, 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 right. How will I solve that one? That means there would need to be another bridge going over here. And I don't like the idea of constructing it, but maybe. Hold on. So, uh, let's assume now, just out of curiosity, that you want to branch off, or seriously, you want to branch off and go here, for the time being, right. So, you are branching off from here, that means you could be branching off from here, so much curvature, I thought as much. How about then here? So you continuing here a little bit, you coming up here, side to side, yes. Now, I would want you to go this way, a little bit higher up. And the water would not be traversable then. <laughs> yeah, I thought as much. How about if I pull it a little bit longer? Fish. So that you come together towards this one. Train alignment collision? What are you colliding there? 
Okay, then it would be navigable. Good. So what would be the worst case if I add it? Hold on. What would be the speed here? 291 as opposed to 200. Now we have all three colors of bridges and that's definitely fine and dandy, I guess. So. Right, you here. For some high speed cargo. So, you are merging onto the right. And you are merging onto the left whenever you feel ready. Too much slope? Come on. Don't sell me this bullshit. Too much slope. I don't buy that. See? You can do it. Right. That means that we could be now servicing hold on oh this will be a signaling nightmare okay you are crossing here that means you have to have a signal before you join yes and then somewhere around here i guess And then you'll need the signal here before you join, obviously. Before you branch at all, do you have a signal already? No, you don't. Then you need a signal, definitely, here. I have no idea if this will work signaling-wise, but... Hold on, you're here and you're here. Signals, fine. This signal might be causing some com problems. So I'd almost rather have a signal here. Before this turnings and stuff here. Do I have signal? Yeah, I have signal there already to clear it. And I have a signal here to clear it, I guess. So I need a signal here to clear it and somewhere around here to clear it. With this one being removed because this one will create a lot of problems. Let's see, did that mess up any of my lines at the moment? green don't I have another turn that green could pass here hmm how about Hold on. Colliding with a, a signal. I get that. Now. Right. Now if I place that signal here. How does that affect the lines? You're going here and you're going up to here. I think that's okay. So that part is settled. So now we would be able to supply... What? Cockermouth and Meltham with fuel. That would be definitely an interesting choice. So we have... Chipping Sodbury Cockermouth fuel. I would actually argue that Cockermouth would be rather oakum. Oakum with fuel. 
instead of Cockermouth transfer, we will be putting you, Oakham Central, and then the fuel trucks should be able to distribute it onwards. I think that would be really cool actually. Oakham Fuel, what are the vehicles, and you are going the to Chipping Sodbury Exchange. No, you're not. You are Chipping Sodbury Exchange. Yeah, fine. Good. Right. And then I want to be creating another train that would be going from Walton Thames to Cockermouth supplying fuel. That'd be an interesting predicament. So let's press play. So you, Sunshine, let's create the line first. The line being new line. Walton Thames. Going all the way. Uh, hold on, you will not go over the passenger line. I need you to go this way. Then I need you to take the passing station. Hold on, let me create where is the this one, yes. Then I need you to take this one without stopping. Yeah, because this one is a backing service, so if you go this way, I think it will be fine. And then you continue via this signal all the way to Cockermouth. And at Cockermouth, we currently don't have anything stopping, so you might as well be taking this and then this. I need a brighter color, I need... Uh, something like this. No, I don't see Jack. This. Yes. So you would go single trackingly here. Wait, you don't have a diamond crossing here? Hold on. That's not good. Here. Yeah, much better. So you're going here and on your way back from the lower cocker mouth, you are taking the wrong siding, I guess. So I need to fix this here. After lower cocker mouth, you're taking this guy. Yes, then you're merging on the main line. That's good. That's correct. Then you're going this way. Then you're taking the signal. Yes. Then you're merging and then, aha, you want to pass here. No, that's not okay. You, I need you to pass here rather. The only problem is where you will go. be going then. You will merge here as a backing service. No, that's not good either. Is one of them just passing here that I could be just, you know, stealing its route? So maybe I'll just take this one's. I think this one is stopping actually. 
which are the lines? Let's just re restrict to visible lines. Now, uh, that's uh, yellow line, yellow, yellow. Bring them to Waltham Thames Oil and the pink one, cargo. Yeah, I don't think the cargo stops here. It's going to Brearley Walton Thames, yes, so that one will be passing through. So after the Chipping Sodbury, you take this signal instead. Yes. And then on your way, instead of... Waypoint 3, signal 12. Chipping Sodbury, signal 24, hold on. Let's, ooh, we have new stuff. Yeah, I think this would be the better that we use this the same way as we did this. So that one would be, what? Cock. Fuel. Watcock fuel, good, and uh, you should be, I want to create additional demand, so buy trains and uh, I guess I want you sunshine with going like cars, 320. 313. Good. And you are being going on the Watcock fuel. Right? So here on the Walton Thames halt, you will be waiting for full load and you will be waiting unlimited if you need to. Right. So hopefully that should kick into some production. I'm just curious as to what, what cock fuel, 29 minutes. So I would want to replicate this train once it reaches its destination. And the question is at the Cockermouth, do we have the capacity to distribute the fuel? I would say yes, but uh, we have to be careful. Right, train, follow, yes. So, Brearley Walton Thames Oil, yes. You should be upping your, yeah, keep high production to upgrade in three months. Yes, thank you, that's something that I will be needing dearly. But at least we are expanding our capacities and that's never a bad thing. Now just let me quickly check around and let's see if we can catch it coming to the station. Okay, so that would be another delivery, so to say. So Walton Thames might be becoming the fuel production facility. I don't know if it has enough kick to supply everything, but clearly... Okay, and you now remain here until we refuel you. So it becomes a question of if we have the means to supply this line, but I'm hoping yes. Where is our train? Do we have a train supplying fuel anytime soon? Oil, yeah, here we go. 
it is coming. Good, and uh, we are coming up on the one hour mark, so I think what I'll want to do is I will want to, well, keep track of this Susan as it goes to deliver the much needed fuel so that we could actually do some good stuff with it. It's actually quite far out, but then again, I'm pretty optimistic in terms of the food production and what does it mean for the Walton Thames oil. So thank you very much for watching, like if you like, and we'll keep in touch. Thank you very much for watching, this is Groundforks signing off.